Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to your weekly general taroscope with me, Raphael, from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, these readings are for the general energies, trends, and themes that we're likely to all be experiencing over the course of the week. And uh, these are always informed by my intuitive message. So if you've been with me long enough, you know this general reading actually evolved uh, with the community. We co-created this, right? So all of you wonderful people that make up Radiant Reality and my humble self, um, we created this together because we were noticing patterns, trends, and themes that were going on sort of throughout the, the weekly readings that I was doing. I know, I know, I know, I just mentioned a swear word and there's gonna be many comments about where they are and why they're not coming back and all the rest of it. It really does mean the absolute world to me that you guys loved and missed them. Um, I'm not sure they will ever be back, so I don't want to promise you something that may not come about. All right, now, with that said, before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance, and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise, and they help us all on our paths to our highest vibrational good. So this week, your intuitive message was to find your personal rhythm and get in harmony with all that breathes, right? So I couldn't sort of sum it down into something smaller than that because what I saw was one person who, you know, they'd started to just move, right? And then they started to look around them and see how everything around them and everyone around them was moving. It's kind of like um, if you've ever seen, you know, like when you see a dance crew, when they work together, right? Sometimes one person will start and then more people will join and they add. And then when you see so many people or so many elements come together and move or breathe in harmony, there's something really powerful about that. There's something really... Um, it's not primal, it's transcendent. There's something about that idea of coming into harmony with all things that are, right? Whether they are challenging, whether they're wonderful, uh, you know, whether you like a person, whether you don't, there's, you know, it's even that, right? Think about somebody that you dislike, right? Or somebody that you've had a problem or an issue with. And then that moment that you find that common ground with that person, Maybe you're never going to be the best of friends. Maybe you're never going to be, uh, you know, all of that wonderful stuff together. But there's that moment, just that pure, simple fucking moment where you realise, you know what? You're a person. I'm a person. We connect on that level. And no matter what it is from here on in, that is enough, right? And so this week, I, I invite you and I welcome you to step into your own rhythm and then find a way to harmonize that rhythm with all that is, right? Whether that is with friends and family, whether it's with your partner, with your children, whether it's with finding common ground with an enemy or somebody that, you know, you just can't see eye to eye with. This week, find the harmony and you will find the flow. And when you find the flow, everything becomes easier and ultimately everything becomes probable, not possible. I don't like possibility. Uh, I, I, you know, this is one of the reasons I do a lot of what I do. I prefer to move within the realm of probability. All right, like, yeah, I know a lot of people are gonna be up in the comments on that one, but. That's my stance and I'm not budging from it. Now, with that said, for our um, destiny card for the week ahead, I'm going to pop this here. Let's see what the overarching energy, trend or theme for this week's message is, right? I really hope um, the intuitive message speaks to you because that one, you know, for me, it really, and not even necessarily about the enemy part, but that coming into a harmonious vibration, right? So you've seen that, you've got a jumping card and the jumping card was the gate 31 and leadership. And this really is about leading by example, right? Showing up in a way that is truly authentic to who you are. Forget whatever anybody else thinks is authentic or whatever. I I'm so over that sort of narrative and that trope at this point. If it feels right and good to me, that is enough, right? What, as Mama Ru says, what anybody else thinks of me or doesn't think of me or whatever ain't none of my fucking business, right? period. Now, on a brighter note, <laughs> to get back off my feisty little horse, 
The gate 31 and leadership, right? So we've got the dolphin there. And what is a, a dolphin? They are very social creatures and they understand harmony. And the leadership energy of dolphins, they elect somebody and then when that somebody is no longer doing it for the group, they'll pull somebody else in. They don't trash this person or this other dolphin or being just because it's time to get them out. They just simply move in flow into a different, you know, in, in a harmonious way, actually, into a, a different way of being. Where is it that we are ready in some way, shape or form for new leadership? On the wider world stage, I think we're definitely ready for that. But in your personal life, are you ready to ascend to some kind of personal throne that is going to put you in a position of leadership? Are you ready for more, I think is the question here, right? So let's have a look at our direction. How do we best tap into or lean into being a leader in some way, shape or form? How do we find our innate uh, ascension to leadership? Okay, and for this we have the Five of Cups. Okay, so by letting go of the version of us that thinks that we can't do it, with the Devil card, releasing our patterns, habits, and, you know, the things that we buy into that are the secondary benefits, right? I'm going to go deeper on that in just a moment and allowing ourselves to be reborn and step into a new version of ourselves, right? So when I talk about the secondary benefit, and this is, you know, a lot of people are gonna be like, oh, I can't believe you just said that, if somebody's not well, you know, like there comes a point where eventually you heal, right? And when you say like, oh no, I can't do that because I had a really bad experience with it. Okay, well, that was then. If you continue to tell yourself and the world that story, you never move beyond it. And so that fear, that phobia, that horrible experience that you've had, right? And trust me, this year from January 1st right through to now has been no picnic, I can assure you, <laughs> uh, right? Um, but when you're willing to kind of say, okay, but that was then and this is now, and you chuck those things out, you're ridding yourself, you know, what happens is people get into a pattern or a habit or even an addiction. Well, I can't do that because of this, right? And so then, you know, the secondary benefit is maybe people feel sorry for you or maybe someone says, oh, okay, well, you know what? We won't do that then. Do you know what I mean? Like there's so many other things that come from it. Whereas if you can just step beyond it and say, okay, you know what? That sucked. That was then, this is now, let's move forward you can and will step into a new path and a new life. Um, how do we do this, right, in terms of the how? This triplet really says to me, by being brave enough to acknowledge that maybe you're telling yourself a fib, right? And what I mean by this, uh, fib is, is a word that we use here in the UK. Like when, when someone's little and they say you're telling fibs, it's like you're telling, you're telling lies. What are the fibs or the lies that you've been telling yourself and where are you ready to change that narrative? That's what comes up for us all this week in some way, shape or form. Now, on the wider world stage, that uh, Five of Cups with the Devil card, this is a leader of some sort on the wider world stage is going to try to blame uh, a, a situation. Or they're going to try to pass the buck and nobody's having it right? Like this person is basically by doing so or saying so, we're going to see a world leader of some sort is going to come forward and say, oh, you know, but I did this because of this and it happened because of that. Okay, maybe that fed into it. But the truth is what you're actually doing is sealing your own uh, exit. And the reason being is because you're making yourself look completely incompetent. Um, it's going to be really interesting to see how that one develops. But like I say, on a more personal level, I actually really feel like this is us getting rid of those stories that we tell ourselves that hold us back. No longer allowing ourselves to lie to ourselves or about ourselves, right? It's about a moment of really pure honesty that allows you to step into something completely brand new. For a lot of you, this might even be the breaking of a bad habit, you know, and it may come very suddenly for a lot of you. And I wonder as well, I, I say I wonder, I feel that this is probably because if you read any of my stuff about the eclipse 
Uh, I apologize for not getting you a video out at that time. Currently having some very challenging stuff with family at the moment. Uh, for those of you that are my ride or dies, that are on my mailing list, etc., you know what's going on. Um, so anyway, uh, but one thing that I talked about that uh, eclipse was um, the, the sting in the tail or the surprise that comes within the 10 days after it. So I'm intrigued to see how this will show up for all of us. And because the full card is here, something comes up very much by surprise for change or adaptation. For our insight cards, we have the five of wands. We have the high priestess. Okay. And we have the Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands, usually a fire sign woman, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But she's coupled here with the High Priestess, right? And so this suggests, in terms of our insights, the Five of Wands is basically saying to us, uh, your group associations and connections will be more important than ever. With the High Priestess here, there may be a discussion that happens behind closed doors. You know, there's a, there's a conversation coming up where potentially you are sworn to secrecy. That's one way this could show up. It could be that somebody asks you something in private and you may have to really take a moment to think about, it's kind of like, I can use this as an example. Uh, let's say uh, a family member is you know, on their way to passing and they pull you aside and say, listen, can you promise me this? That's a really hard conversation to have um, and it puts a lot of pressure on you, right? But it potentially is something that happens very much behind closed doors. Uh, the other thing with that Queen of Wands and representing boundaries, this week we may all be feeling that somewhere the boundaries are somewhat blurred and it may be hard to separate things out. So just be mindful of that. Now on the wider world stage, this is a secret of some sort that comes to light about a woman in power potentially a fire sign woman. Um, the thing is, with that five of wands, whatever it, this secret or this information is that comes out is very likely to be something that cannot be refuted. And the reason being is because the five of wands suggests that it won't just be one person speaking up, it will be many. Uh, so it will be interesting to see how that one plays out. All in all, it's not a bad week, but it really is, this is a week of change, all right? And as I always say with change, right? Just like a Uranus transit, you can jump or you can be pushed. Um, you can go quietly of your own accord or you can go kicking and screaming. And I know which one I would like to go as, you know? Dancing and singing in my case. <laughs> Uh, I jest, I jest, but you, you, do you see what I mean? Like, it's going to be an interesting week. And, you know, with all of that, think about this. If you're ridding yourself of some of your stuff and the narratives that have been holding you back, you're holding your boundaries and taking back, you know, some of your own personal power, that's how you really show up as a leader because you're living by example as opposed to saying, do as I say rather than do as I do. There's a big difference between people that do that. Or, uh, you know, I think many of you know this anyway. It'll also be interesting to see how this plays out on the wider world stage. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. For those of you that send me uh, newspaper articles and, uh, you know, comment in the, in the comment section about the, you know, how this shows up in the world, I love those and I cannot thank you enough for them because for me that is total validation uh, that I'm on the right path, right? With that said, take care and I'll see you soon.